guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is your girl Jennifer, also known as the Jennifer Monique. If this is your first time, welcome. If it's not, welcome back. So before we even get into this vlog, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll wait. Did you hit it? Or did you just keep watching? Girl, boy, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Stop playing with me because you're gonna wanna stay around. So it is Friday night. It is currently 7.53 p.m. It's the weekend, baby. It's the weekend. I'm so excited, as you cannot tell. I just feel like this week was such a long, such a long week. So I currently just finished folding clothes. Not fun at all, y'all. Not fun at all. Adulting is ghetto. I wouldn't get say zero stars because sometimes it's fun. I'll give it two stars currently, two two stars, two stars. But I am in my workout clothes because I'm getting ready to get on my bike, y'all. I've been tripping, I've been playing, I've been slipping. I have not been riding my bike like I'm supposed to. And as you guys know, by April, I want to hit 100 rides. And let's see where I'm at right now. All I know is I'm not at 100. And that's a goal, baby. It's a goal. I've been slipping on my pimping. However, comma, I'm about to get it together because we got goals out here and I've been tripping and I've been playing. Let's see where I'm at. I have 68 rides. 68. Can y'all see that? There we go. 68 rides. And I'm trying to get to 100. And it's March 11th. So I have a month. To get my rides in, I gotta do it because that's my goal. I got to do it. Smooth, I always say, is peanut butter the affordable kind because nut butter is expensive for some reason. We are trying out this vegan place called 
Butcher Butor B U T U R E food. They're based out of California. This is actually my second time at this food truck. I don't know if you guys remember a few vlogs back. We um had went here and we was at the brewery and I had the burger. It was delicious. So we bought that and we bought some treats. I don't really remember what the name what cookies did we get? Babe, what cookies we got? Oh, Something strawberry and coconut and I think chocolate chip. No, it's cookies and cream. Oh, cookies and cream. And I think it was strawberry and coconut. We're gonna see how that goes. I was a little concerned. Strawberry and coconut. Never seen those two together. So this is actually babe's first time trying this place and tasting this vegan chicken. I got the barbecue deluxe, wasn't it? Barbecue, barbecue deluxe chicken sandwich, but it keep in mind it's not chicken. You got the Hawaiian barbecue chicken sandwich. He got the Hawaiian barbecue chicken sandwich. So yeah, they're pretty expensive. One one burger is sixteen dollars. Pretty expensive, but I mean, they can't. They're coming here all the time, so I feel like they're just scouting the place to see if this would be a good place for them to come and like have an actual business here. Because traveling from California, they do like a food truck tour. Because she also told us last time that she goes to Louisiana too as well. So. We're gonna let him take a bite of his burger and tell us how it tastes. Let's go. I'm not watching you. I'm eating a fry. So, babe, how do you like it? That's a good chicken sandwich right there. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Would you get it again? Yeah, I would get this again. Was is it worth sixteen dollars? Not worth sixteen. How much do you think it's worth? It's good. That's a good ten dollar sandwich. Ten dollar sandwich. Mm -hmm. Can you tell it's not chicken? No, I can't. I can't. Right. That's a good, that's a good. I think I cut y'all off, but he said it was a good chicken sandwich. That's a good fake chicken sandwich. He said it's a good fake chicken sandwich, but mm -hmm. I'm about to eat my sandwich. You already know that I like it. This is my second time coming to eat it. We're eating in the car because they have outside seating and it's about, I don't know how many degrees, but too cold. Keep my hat on this sweater. A sweatshirt, a long sleeve shirt, and a cami. And that wind is cutting through my clothes. So we're eating in the car. We definitely could have shared a sandwich. Because I ate a fourth. You ate what, about half? I ate half. Yeah, it's yeah. a very big sandwich. You know? So I say it is worth worth the $15, $16. Anytime, anytime you can eat something now and later. And be and full. And it's $15, $16. It's worth your money. Right. Because I'm full and I still have this much left. Like, yeah. a lot of my burger mm -hmm. left. Yeah, that's a. Y'all see how thick this thing is, though? That thing is thick, 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 thick. Yeah. And we had fries, and one yeah. order of fries was enough for both of us, and yeah. we both have fries left over. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to get like extremely mm -hmm. full because I want to taste these cookies. That thing hard. Boy, you're not coming out with this thing. Y'all, these cookies were like six dollars a cookie. You made that hard. What it smell like? Is this vegan too? Mm-hmm. It's vegan. It smells good. <clears throat> it smells like. mm -hmm. Don't blow my boogers on it. This is one cookie. This is a six dollar cookie though. This cookie huge. Show your cookie. Oh. Here I'm gonna show this cookie y'all. This is my cookie. That's my cookie. And, and this with the Oh, and this what the inside looks like. And you can see it's just the whole cookie. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's actually a good cookie. That's a good cookie. <laughs> when you bite it, it's not that hard. It's not. When you bite it, it's not yeah. that hard. That's a good cookie. Yeah, okay. We should do some more research before we start talking. Talking trash. When you bite into it. it it's really soft. I can squeeze the cookie. Damn. 
it crumbles. So yeah, it's really it's soft on the inside, y'all. This inside. Oops, hold on. Okay, I talk trash. It's soft. Can I take my cookie? Okay. I want to take your cookie. Why are you wrapping it up? Y'all, he don't be sharing. Tell him sharing is caring. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream? Yeah. That's actually cream. a good cookie. That's a good cookie. That's a good cookie. That is a good cookie. Taste my cookie. I got coconut. Taste my cookie. Yeah, coconut. Just take a bite. You really can't taste the coconut. Oh, maybe you taste the coconut. What's in the middle? Coconut, coconut. Oh, the coconut is in the middle. It's coconut filled. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Cause I, I was like, it don't taste like coconut. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. The cookie itself is good. The cookie is good. You, yeah. the coconut in the middle. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So if they come to your city, it's called B U T U R E food. It's good. It's worth the money. Pretty pricey. But they call it vegan junk food. Vegan junk food. I'm drinking a Celsius. It's not really working because I'm still sleepy. the office but I want like a smaller chair you don't know, have that big chair in there I want something smaller like this would be more sleek with like a smaller desk so it won't take up as much space I know they actually sold these like this oh check our feet out but yeah that's okay I be wanting like these type of photos, but I don't know where I would put them in my house. So I just admire them. me up in here in Best Buy, right? And like, I want everything. Now I want a new Mac computer. I want a new iPhone. I want a new Apple Watch. I want a new TV. This is why you don't come in electronic stores because you see everything new. Like, you just want to upgrade everything. Like, I seen this TV, this video TV. I'm like, yeah, I want that. But also, I initially do want an Apple TV because I haven't bought a new TV in a lot of years like 2011 it is time for a new tv so now i want like i said 65 inch on the wall 65 big enough to put on that wall like i just want a big tv on the wall but look how clear these things are yeah i just want a new tv i just want a new tv after this wedding and after all this other stuff i think we should buy a new tv what you think he's down yes now I don't care what type of TV it is. It can be an Apple TV. It could be a Vizio. Vizio? Vizio TV. I like Vizio. Never had a Samsung TV before. But I just want an Apple TV because, you know, I'm just an Apple person. But I settle for Vizio because my Vizio has never done me wrong. At all. But now that I'm in Best Buy, I want everything. Like, look at this TV. That TV is huge. I don't know what size that TV is. 
it is an 85 inch Damn. so why is samsung cheaper than vizio because that 65 inch vizio over there was two thousand or some dollars but this 85 inch samsung is two thousand dollars too as well and it's like bigger this part here could this even fit on the wall yeah. it'll probably take up the whole wall yeah. it'll fit that's a big tv i've never wanted an 85 inch tv before but you know when you're in the store tvs look smaller than when you get them home when you get them home they look huge but since they're in such a big store they look small but they're not high sense i ain't never heard of that brand it's an android tv it's enough it's enough Hey y'all, so we are back home from being out and about. So um, you guys probably saw the items that I picked up from TJ Maxx. So I picked up a little bit of Easter things. So my thinking is I love to decorate for the holidays, but however, we are sticking to a budget due to this wedding. So I just want to decorate for the holidays just in that area, like in the coffee area, because you don't have to get too much decorations to decorate it. Because I know I don't need to go all y'all I'm out of breath. <laughs> but I don't need to go all out and decorate for every holiday knowing that we're saving for the wedding. So that's how I'm gonna keep my little holiday spirit going. So nothing nothing major, just little things just to put in the holiday season right over there. I actually got this idea from All Things Nelly. I believe in one of her episodes, I don't know, I think it was from Valentine's Day, she had decorated where her coffee was at. And I was like, you know what? That is how I can still be in the spirit, still decorate without blowing my budget. 
So that those three things is what I picked up from home. No, TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. We went to Home Goods. What I picked up from Home Goods is these cute travel cups here. They have um what do y'all call them little men? Gnomes. I think it's gnomes. Y'all see him? These it's a set of what was it? How many? It's a set of twelve and they were only four ninety nine. They're only $4.99 and they have the little, um, well actually I only have one. Well that's ghetto. Why they only give you one? It says and sleeves. And this, it says and sleeves y'all and there's only one sleeve in here. Like where the rest of them? It has sleeves. Can you hold on, there you go. It says cups and sleeves, but it's only one sleeve in here. Wow. I'm really sad about that. It only has one sleeve, so I thought this would be really cute. Um, these would be really cute when I am. Hold on, let me get back and focus. There we go. I feel like it, when I am just having my coffee to go. Um, I just thought that was really cute. Oh, y'all, I'm tripping. The sleeves are inside there. Y'all see? They're inside the cup. I would say. I feel played. So I just thought they would be really cute. Stay in the holiday spirit. They were only $4.99. You can get it from every season from Home Goods. I'm sure you probably can get it from TJ Maxx. I didn't see it at our TJ's Mac, TJ Maxx, so I just went to Home Goods and they had them. So just to be in the spirit. And then I picked up this cup, y'all. I did not need it, but it was just too cute. Look how cute this cup is. It's like a marble purple-ish with pink with a straw to as well. And it was $12.99. Now, you're probably saying, Jennifer, you don't need another tumbler. Well, that's for you wrong. I do. I do need another tumbler. So, I'm really excited about this. Look how cute the lid is. Yeah. I'm really excited about this here because I really want it. It says it keeps liquids cold for 18 hours with ice so perfect because i've been carrying around um this jug here to work and it's a half a gallon but i want to switch it up so and so or i could just bring half a gallon here and then pour it in here either way oh look they match definitely could do that pour bring fill this up and just pour it in here so because i like drinking out of the straw even though this too has a, a little fake straw but yeah so that's y'all what i picked up from tj maxx home goods we didn't buy anything at best buy we were just walking through there trying to get ideas of what i want to buy once we pay for this wedding <laughs> but yeah I just want to let you guys know what we end up buying from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So, I'm probably going to see you guys in the morning because the battery is dying. <laughs> oh, and my mom's calling. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. from Aldi so I don't know if I told you guys but we just had an Aldi just open up here in Mobile Alabama well it's technically not in Mobile it's in Mobile County but not in the city Mobile so it's like 12 to like 15 minutes away from my house we do not have an Aldi and I always see all these Aldi hauls and I was like I want to go in there and check that thing out so it's been open I think for like two three weeks so I believe I would go back. It reminds me of like a mixture, I think, between Trader Joe's 
and I don't know like Trader Joe's as in you don't have to get um you don't get bags like bag your they don't bag your groceries but also you have to put a quarter in to get a buggy but you get the quarter back we need to return the buggy it was super packed it's Sunday and it's currently 2 18 so it was super packed I got there like around 1 super packed when I rolled up in that thing but I feel like I still picked up a few good things now do I think it's better than like a Publix to me probably not but I feel like you can find some good items key items that's good for the house some things were cheaper there too as well so let me just show y'all what I got okay so I picked up uh oh let me turn y'all down okay Where we at? Okay, back to back to. So I picked up some oat milk. I really been loving this um, oat milk in my coffee. As you guys probably know, oat milk is dairy free. It is also nut free soy free and it's supposed to be 100 percent vegan so i picked this up i love to put this in my coffee and i love to put it in my oatmeal i also picked up some almond milk too as well now the almond milk this one has 30 calories and i picked up vanilla um it's the unsweetened kind babe actually uses this for his oatmeal and i also use it for my oatmeal and my smoothies just depending on the day or how i'm feeling i picked up these what is these grain free pretzel sea salt so they're supposed to be plant based these are the pretzels that I could find in there I purchased them because I wanted to try them with this um, creamy pepper jack cheese I love pepper jacks so I was like okay let me just grab this to to eat with my pretzels I really feel like it'll be good I picked up some cosmic crisp apples picked up some green grapes you already know babe loves green grapes I picked up some of these calzone and I got it in a, hold on, this has a sticker on it. It is in a Philly cheese steak um, one. So it's supposed to have, it's supposed to have steak beef with parmesan and mozzarella cheese, diced green pepper, ricotta cheese, onion strips, and a golden pocket. So I picked up one for me and then I picked up one for Bay too. I also picked up the buffalo chicken one i picked up two of those two as well now the buffalo oops the buffalo chicken is chicken breast strips with provolone excuse me mozzarella and mild buffalo chicken wing sauce with ricotta cheese in the pocket so i think these might be good for lunch i picked up some fresh ground turkey 93 percent lean 7 percent fat we always using ground turkey like i just always pick up ground turkey because you can make so much with it. I also picked up some strawberries. Now these strawberries, I think, were just like $1.99. The cheapest I've currently found. I picked up some hummus, red, roasted red pepper here. I love hummus, but my favorite it is, of course, roasted red pepper. So I also can eat that with my crackers. I picked up these apple chicken sausages. We had these one day with some meal, but they say you can use them with hot dogs, but I plan on chopping them up with my bell peppers. So I got the bell pepper package in orange, red, and yellow. So chopping those up together with some onions is delicious. I picked up some chicken cubes. I always need chicken cubes. I put it when I um, cook my rice too. Then I picked up these um, shots. So this shot here is a kick in the ginger, kick in the ginger shot. It has coconut water, pineapple juice, ginger juice, lemon juice, and ground cayenne. So I usually pick these up from Publix. If you follow me, you know I'm always grabbing one of these. I've never tried this one before, but it's keep calm and berry on elderberry shot. So it has pomegranate, blueberry, ginger, cherry, elderberry, and another berry. So, I don't usually take elderberry vitamins. They're good for your health and immune system. Then I picked up, we love to see it, vitamin C shot. This shot has vitamin C, cherry, live probiotics to support the immune system. So, I always take shots. I love these here. So, I'll probably be taking them in the morning. Now, for the wine, the wine that I picked up is this one right here. It's Moise. Marcella, Marcelli, I don't know, but it's a red wine, a red Moscato. So they had a red sweet wine or a red Moscato 
red moscatos are usual well, moscato excuse me it's usually like a sweet wine so this one right here says it's refreshingly sweet with a note of peach and cherry so i like peach i'm not really i don't know about cherry so this is going to be interesting but this bottle was only like 4.99 so we gonna see but that's all i picked up from my aldi haul just something small i just want to go in there and see you know uh oh i'm not focused go and see what they actually have in there um, so that's that okay so guys i forgot to show you this excuse me i picked up this happy form snack pack cream cheese dipped with pretzels and jalapeno this right here it was so good y'all i actually ate this on the way home it has 200 calories in it but i smashed it I wish they would gave me more pretzels because I ran out of pretzels and I still had cheese left. They actually only had one of these left in the store when I picked it up. This was the last one. I was super sad because I like jalapeno stuff, so I was going to get two. So I had a feeling I was going to like it. But now I know next time, if I go back, I'm definitely picking up these. Because if you like cream cheese, you like jalapenos, this right here is an amazing snack. I'm kind of glad I picked up extra pretzels too now. Let me go ahead and snack on that. <laughs> but I forgot to show you guys this. Love it. Highly recommend it. Five stars. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. Baby, I love you Why you tryna break us up When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby, I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no I don't wanna step into the light If I don't get you, shawty You bring out the sweetness of my life We just finished dinner. I just finished actually cleaning up the kitchen. Let me tell you, cooking becomes a lot of work because you have to clean. After you cook and prepping, like seriously, it's so much because once you finish cooking, I'm the type of person, as I'm cooking, I'm trying to wash my dishes while I'm cooking. But then, you know, you still have like the pots and stuff that you have at the end. So after you eat, I go ahead and I wash my dishes. Do some of you guys, once you finish cooking, you make sure all the dishes are clean except the pots? Or do you go ahead and transfer over the food into like the, um, what they called? Containers, I guess you can call them. I just really don't. Tupperware. Tupperware. Do you go ahead, after you finish cooking, do you just go ahead and transfer everything over to the Tupperware? Then wash your all your pots and pans and then sit down and eat? Or do you just wash what you already have? Whatever's washed while you're cooking gets washed, you eat, and then come back and wash everything. Tonight, I decided to go ahead and as I was um, cooking, I washed dishes. And then I, when I got finished cooking, which is like the pot, the food was in two pots, the food was in. And then um, like uh, the silverware that we used to scoop all the food out. And then of course, we ate. And then after we ate, we had like the plates and dishes. So. I went ahead and washed all that, put all the extra food in Tupperware, swept, mopped. I threw our rugs in the washing machine because I haven't washed them in like two weeks. Don't judge me. Judge yourself. But so I went ahead and threw, threw the rugs, kitchen rugs in the washing machine so I can wash those tonight. And I'm probably not going to get them out the washing machine until the morning. But the food was really, really good. It was like that Dijon mustard, some type of chicken and potatoes. It was so 
super good i highly recommend it the only thing i would do differently is that when i first put the chicken in the skillet i would make it like have like a little bit of crispy around the edges so sear it first before i added all the um cream ingredients just to give it that like nice crisp brown look when it comes out the oven so that's something i would have done differently it was really good i was concerned because um I thought that it was gonna be too salty because the recipe include like salt at every step but it wasn't at all so I was really really grateful for that so I'm tired y'all it's been a busy busy compact weekend so yeah I need to go now and straighten up the bedroom this time change y'all spring forward losing an hour of sleep gotcha girl I had to be at church early this Sunday morning at 7, which is really 6 o'clock. So I had to get up at like, I woke up this morning at like 4.30 for some reason, which is really like 3.30. I fell back to sleep and I got back up at 5, so which was technically 4 in the morning. So yeah, I did take me a little nap, which is why we had dinner so late. But it's currently 8.46 already, but technically my body is like at 7.46, so... I'm not really sleepy, but I know if I don't try to like wind down, I'm gonna be regretting it when my alarm clock goes in the morning. Goes off in the morning. So yeah. So I've been talking for three minutes. <laughs> so I really hope you guys loved, loved this weekend vlog. I couldn't get it out. Hope you guys loved this weekend vlog. We did a lot of felt like we was doing a lot of eating moving around downtown if you did go ahead and hit the thumbs button and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button like i'll wait i got nothing but time on my hands until i fall asleep so go ahead and hit the subscribe button we're already family just hit the subscribe button help your girl out get this video out to more people help me grow i have a goal of hitting 5,000 subscribers and i cannot 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 do it without you so help your girl out share my video like it comment in the comment section below because have you been checking my other videos your girl be coming to back i'll be having time i might as well come in back in the morning time so yeah comment down below and go ahead and subscribe button i'm kind of tired for real for real like i just want to sit lay down take a shower lay down so i'm gonna let you guys go and i pray you have an amazing blessed prosperous think of another word can't think of another word productive that was the word it was a productive day week month and year can you believe we're already in march y'all it's crazy it's about to be it's march 13th that's just crazy March. We're already three months into the year. So, all right, guys. I love you. See you later. And until next time, be blessed. I'm so tired, y'all. <laughs>